going to be talking about renewable and non-renewable resources and the importance of conservation. So before we can talk about renewable and non-renewable resources, we first have to talk about what a resource is. A resource is something that we need or use in our daily lives. So for example, we have a computer. A lot of times right now we're using a computer for, uh, for school, for schoolwork. Sometimes your parents might use it to, to get their work done. And in addition, sometimes we just use it to relax and play, and play video games or watch YouTube videos. We have cars. Cars are another uh, resource. We use cars to get around from place to place in a very quick fashion, a very quick way. We don't want to walk everywhere, uh, so we use cars to kind of get around in a faster way. We have clothes. Clothes are a resource. When it gets kind of when it gets cold, uh, we want to make sure that we pile on those sweaters and those beanies. And you know, when it's raining, we want to make sure we have a raincoat. And so. Those are resources that we use in our daily lives. Our washer and dryer. I don't know about you, but I don't want to wear stinky, smelly, and sweaty clothes. And if you are using your washer and dryer, that way you can get clean, fresh clothes that we can wear. And it's an important resource for us. Another thing is food. Food is a resource. Just because we we need our food so we can go about our daily lives so we have that energy to make sure that we be successful in everything that we're doing so there are two big types of resources that we kind of talk about we have renewable and non-renewable resource a renewable resource is a resource that cannot easily be exhausted it cannot easily be used up because it's rapidly replaced by nature so uh when we talk about natural resources, which are renewable resources, we have a couple of things. The first thing I want to kind of point out is the trees and kind of the chicken with the eggs at the bottom. Trees are, trees are one of our examples of a renewable resource. We've been using trees for a long time. We cut it down for wood to make homes, to make fires, to make all different types of things and we can plant new trees and grow new trees at a good pace so we don't use them all up. When we talk about different types of farm animals, kind of like how we have our chicken with the egg, if you think about it, you go to the grocery store, you see all of the different types of milk, chocolate milk, you see all these eggs, and you see like the beef and the chicken that you can cook with. Those farm animals are renewable resources because we can get a lot of milk from cows. We can get a lot of eggs at a, at a good pace to where they aren't gonna run out. And in the top picture, we have air, water, and sun. So we use air turbines, hydroelectric dams, as well as solar panels and we use this for renewable energy. And these are important because these are uh, some resources, renewable resources that we can use for energy that are not going to run out. These are resources that we are going to have um, because they are not going to run out. And they're safe resources to use for our energy. Now we have what's called non-renewable resources. And non-renewable resource is a resource that once exhausted or once used up cannot be replaced in a short amount of time. And the big non-renewable resource that we talk about today are fossil fuels. And fossil fuels were made over hundreds of millions of years, and they were made from um, uh, like dead um, plants and algae and uh, other kind of uh, organic material, organic matter. And it took 100 million years, it takes a long time to make because the earth is responsible for making those fossil fuels. But the pressure and the heat that, it, that they get way down um, closer towards the earth's uh, 
closer down, farther down the earth, they begin to kind of make into fossil fuels. And so we have three big types of fossil fuels. We have coal, petroleum, and natural gas. So coal is a fossil fuel that um, we, kind of, we kind of mine. And what we do is we burn it up. Uh, we burn the coal so we can make energy. A lot of our coal is used to um, power our factories. If you've ever seen a uh, factory running, it has these big clouds of smoke coming out. That uh, plant, that factory may be running off coal. And people use coal because it is really uh, efficient. You can get coal, you can burn it, and it provides a lot of energy. And when we talk about petroleum, this is where we get our gasoline for our cars. Uh, petroleum we can get out of the Earth's surface. So sometimes uh, if you would drive uh, down the highway in some places uh, where there aren't as many cities or big like cities, you might see uh, this kind of machine. And this machine gets oil out from the ground. Another place that uh, we kind of get oil from is uh, under the ocean or under some seas uh, where oil or petroleum can be kind of uh, gotten out so we can use it for our gasoline and uh, for our cars. And naturally, natural gas. So natural gas is, is kind of what we use to kind of heat up homes, but also uh, use for when we're cooking or in our stoves, uh, for example, our stoves a lot of times use those natural gases for fuels. And we use these non-renewable resources, these fossil fuels, because they provide a lot of energy uh, and they can be used really efficiently. Um, so a lot of times what we do is we use these up at such a rapid pace because they are a good source of energy. They are something that we can use very efficiently. And lastly, we need to talk about conservation. Now, conservation means to care and protect for our natural resources, especially those that are non-renewable. So when we talk about non-renewable resources, we talk about them being used up. Uh, very quickly. It takes a long time for them to be replaced. Conservation, when we care and protect for those natural resources, we're making sure that we don't overuse them, that maybe we're going to be using our renewable resources, renewable energy, like air, uh, like air with air turbines, hydroelectric, or, or solar, instead of using those fossil fuels, even if they are really good, really good at providing the energy uh, because we want to conserve those resources. Uh, another thing that we kind of think about when we think of conservation is uh, a term called reduce, reuse, and recycle, um, which kind of helps us uh, reuse some of the things that we're already using, kind of reduce some of uh, those resources that we uh, buy up all the time. And of course, recycling, that way we can uh, kind of reuse those uh, materials that we kind of, that we use and bought. So in summary, we have something called a resource. And a resource is something that we need or use in our daily lives. We have two types of resources. We have renewable resource, which is a resource that we can't easily use up because it's rapidly replaced. Uh, we, we can't use it up because of the more and more and more are created every day or in a short amount of time. And a lot of those big things that we talk about are some of our farm animals or our trees and also renewable energy resources such as air, water, and sun. We have non-renewable resources that are resources that once they're used up, we can't replace them in a short amount of time. And those big ones are our fossil fuels, our coal, petroleum, and natural gas. And lastly, it's important to conserve. Conservation is important so we can protect and care for our natural resources 
So we never use them fully up because scientists are projecting that if we keep on using these non-renewable resources, these fossil fuels at the rate we are, eventually we're gonna run out very soon. So I hope this helps and uh, I can't wait to see you guys in the next video.